say amen again. Amen. Amen. It's good to be here. Amen. In the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. We certainly thank God for his goodness, his mercy, and certainly for his grace. Something about his grace. Paul said that it is sufficient. So, so whatever we are going through, amen, we we have God's grace to, to cover us. And hallelujah, somebody, we, we're grateful, amen, for this another day's journey. The songwriter said, I'm, and I'm glad about it. I don't know about you, but I'm glad about it. I wonder how many glad folk, amen, I got, amen, tuning in this morning, amen, amen, because God has blessed us, amen, to see a, another day, a day that we had never seen before. He woke us up this morning, amen, amen, and started us, amen, on our way, amen. We thank God for Amen, all that he has done, what he's doing, and even for that, amen, he's getting ready to do. I have you to know, amen, this morning that, again, that he is good, and amen, uh, David says, oh, oh, taste and see, amen, the, the only way that you will really find out, amen, whether he's good or not, amen, you got to try him, amen, for yourself. That's why he said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And then he said, blessed is the man that, amen, that trusted in him, amen. I don't know about you, but I trust him. I trust him with everything, amen, amen, because we have to put everything, amen, in God's hands, amen. He's able, amen, to, to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we can ask or think, amen, amen. He's able to fix, amen, that which is, which is broken, amen. So we are grateful, we are grateful, amen, again, amen, to be here, amen, and we thank God for you who have tuned in, amen, and we pray, amen, that there will be something said here today, amen, that will help you, that would encourage you, that will inspire you, amen, to keep on keeping on, amen, even in the midst of what we are going through, amen, amen, I have you to know that God, amen, we can, we can make it, amen, amen, because the victory has already, amen, been won, amen, amen, we thank God for Brother Calvin, amen, for coming, and Mr. King, amen, for always showing up, and amen, being there, Sister Mia, Sister Sylvia, amen, we thank God for them, amen, that's why he said we're well, two or three, amen, are gathered together in his name, amen. He said that he would be a God, amen, in the midst. And we just thank God for his presence, amen, in this place today, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit, amen, just fall afresh on us. We, we pray, amen, for, for all of those who are, are, are sick among us, amen. surgery on, on Wednesday, I believe, and um, amen, and then last last Saturday, amen, she funeralized her mother, amen, so amen, trouble is all around us, but amen, again, we have God who will help us, amen, even in our times of trouble, he's a very present help, amen, in the time of, of trouble, all of our caretakers, amen, all of our caretakers, amen, and especially, amen, those that they take care of, amen, and I lift up, amen, uh, even Sister Mia here today, amen, she, she comes, amen, and support her pastor, amen, and I thank God for her, amen, even when she's in a little pain, amen, it's always, always good to see them, Sister Sylvia, amen, we lift her today as well, amen, and her family, her mom, amen, uh, God is a good God, we don't want to forget, amen, our young folk, amen, as we continue to 
pray for them, amen, that God will keep them as they, amen, some of them are struggling with this virtual learning, amen, but we know that God can even, amen, help them with, with that, amen, uh, our church and our leaders, amen, uh, we, we pray, amen, for them, our friends, all of those that are bereaved, amen, uh, our friends who have, amen, contracted this disease, amen, um, called, amen, coronavirus, amen, and then we just lift them today, amen, that God will, amen, continue to bless and, and cover them, amen, with the blood of Jesus. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you, your holy name right now, God. We thank you for who you are and for being such a, a good God. You, you brought us uh, from a mighty long way. We, saints of old says, amen, that you brought us from through danger seen and, and unseen. We, we bless you today, God. We ask you, God, that you would just have mercy upon us today. That you would pour out your spirit in this place. That you would lead and guide us in this worship. Bless your word on today. God, we thank you for your son, Jesus. And your Holy Spirit. And God, we need you. Like we never needed you before. We thank you for new leadership over our nation, God. Somebody that can lead us and help us in our times of trouble. So you bless like, like only you can. You heard every name, every petition. God, that we lift it up and we pray that you would bless. God, that you would comfort those that need comforting. That you would heal those that need healing. Oh God, we know that you're able. For we heard Paul say, my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Oh God, we know that you're able. God, you told us to cast all of our cares upon you because you you care for us. Well, we know that you're able. You told us if we abide in you and your word abide in us, we can ask what we will. Oh, God, bless right now in the name of Jesus. God, you said it, and we believe it today, God. We believe every promise, God, that you have spoken unto us. We thank you right now. Oh God, many are the afflicted, afflictions of the righteous. Oh, but the Lord, oh, but God, you will deliver us out of all of them. We thank you right now. So bless now, God. Bless your word as it go forth. God, and I ask that you would just use me as your instrument to let me be a tool in your hand. Give me a fresh anointing, God. Oh, just to speak your word. Anoint these lips of clay in the name of Jesus. Give me clarity today. Oh, I beg you right now, in the name of Jesus, have mercy. And then forgive us of our sins, for we don't want them to get in the way of our prayers. And this we do ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just bear with me just for, amen, a few minutes. Uh, it will give me about, about 15 minutes. I'll, I'll be out of your hair, amen. Uh, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful today, amen, uh, uh, for the word that God has, has given me, amen. A um, word that I'm, I'm certainly have heard before, but sometimes we just need a, a reminder, amen, of how good God is and what God, amen, can do, amen. Uh, I want to call your attention, amen, to a passage.
passage of scripture found in Amen, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4. There's two verses of scripture there that I'd like to just read. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter, uh, chapter 4. Amen. Uh, verses 8 and 9. Verses 8 and 9. Amen. Uh, Paul writes, amen, to the church at, at Corinth. And he says, we are troubled on every side yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Let me read this from the New Living, amen, translation. Amen. It says, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Amen. Amen. We bless the hearing, the reading, and the doers of his holy word. Amen. Amen. The Apostle Paul, amen, sums up our existence here on earth in realistic terms. We are in what he called a pressure cooker. The challenges of life and the accompanying stress are constant companions to the believers. But while we share in the same troubles that the world has, thank God we will overcome. Paul says it this way, we are pressed on all sides, but not crushed. Yeah, yeah, another way of saying it is we are hard pressed, but not suffocated. I wish I had some help in here. There, 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 there are three things. There are three things that are certain in the life of every believer. I got some not so good news for us right now. Every believer, amen, will have some trouble. The Bible promised trouble to us in Job chapter 14, verse 1, where Job writes, Man born of a woman is of a, a few days and full of trouble. The psalmist, the psalmist, amen, promised it to us too. Amen. In Psalm 90, verse 10, amen, he said, The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if my reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Jesus himself, amen, he promised, amen, that we will have some, some trouble in this life, amen. Those that were on our Bible study line on, on Wednesday night, we, we talked about a passage of scripture in John chapter 16, verse 33, where Jesus said these things, mm -hmm. he said these 
these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace, but in the world ye shall have tribulations. But then he said, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Yeah, 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 he says, in the world ye shall have tribulations. In other words, you're going to have some trouble in this life. Oh yeah, 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 the preacher, the preacher got trouble, yeah, 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 the deacons, the trustees, the motherboard, amen, even those, amen, who sit in the pews who have a relationship with God will have, mm, yeah, some trouble. Yeah, let me, let, let, let me tell you about some troubles, amen, we all have faced for the last past eight months. Yeah, yeah, this, this pandemic that we're still in, amen, we find ourselves, amen, that, uh, that it is worse today than it was when it first started. Yeah, yeah, y'all come on and talk with me, amen, on, on Friday, on Friday, 181,194 persons contracted this disease. Yeah, yeah, on Friday, 1,389 folk died from this disease. And some of us are experiencing right now, amen, a Job kind of situation. I wish I had some help in here. Y'all come on and talk with me if you can. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are experiencing a Job kind of situation where, where folk are losing, amen, everything that they have as a result of COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're losing their jobs, amen. They're losing their homes, amen. They're losing, amen, their finances. They're losing, amen, their loved ones, their friends, amen. They are losing everything that they have. And then at the same time, amen, some of us are contracting this disease ourselves. That's why I say that we are experiencing a Job kind of situation. Wish I had some help in here. Something, amen, something everybody has that nobody won't is trouble. Mm -hmm. Every, everybody has it, but don't nobody, don't nobody want it. No, no, no. Every, everyone has, has trouble, amen. And some of us, amen, have, have, have just come through some trouble. Others are in trouble right now, and some are headed for trouble, but I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad I can take you, amen, amen, to the second point, amen, of, of this message, amen, amen, that God will deliver us from our troubles. Mm -hmm. We are going to have some trouble, amen, but amen, God will deliver us from our troubles. Oh, yeah, 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 the summons says, amen, those who, who live, yeah, in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Y'all come on and talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that we will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. He said, this I declare about the Lord. He said, he said, he alone is my refuge, my, my place of, of safety. He is my God and I trust him. Yeah, for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. I wish I had some help in here. All you got to do is just read Psalm 90, 91. I wish I had some help in here. The psalmist said, amen, that we can find rest. Yeah, I know I, I know we didn't got tired of this pandemic, amen, but, but I'm hearing Jesus said, amen, come unto me all ye that labor and are heaven laden and I'll give, I'll give you rest. We can find, we can find rest, amen, 
in him. And not, not, not only that, amen, the psalmist said that he is my, my refuge, my, my place of, of safety. Yeah, yeah, we can hide. We can hide in him. He, he said, all that, that is within me, I, I trust him with everything for he will. He will. He'll, he'll, he'll come. He'll come and rescue us, Mr. King. He, he, he'll come and get us out of our, of our messes that we get in. Amen. He'll come and get us out of, of, of things like COVID-19. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will rescue us from every, every trap. Every trap that the devil try to set up against us. Amen. God will rescue us from that. And then he'll protect us. He'll protect us from, from, from every deadly disease. But thank God, amen, we have the promise, amen. Surely he shall deliver thee from trouble. The summer said, our troubles, amen, will soon be cut off and, and we'll, we'll fly away. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll fly away and, and be at rest. He said, many are the affliction of the righteous, but God deliver us out of all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. While Jesus said, in the world, you shall have tribulation, he didn't stop there. He said, but be of good cheer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even in your trouble, you can be of good cheer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For I have overcome the world. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, thank God. We, we, we too can, hey, 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 man, rejoice in the fact that, hey, man, that we have already overcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we may be pressed on, on all sides, but we will not be, we will not be crushed. Now, no matter what's, what's going, amen, what you're going through, just remember, amen, you are going through. Yeah, yeah, you got to remember that you're just going, you're going through. The songwriter said, I'm going through. Yes, I'm, I'm going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just simply means just that, that we are going through. When, when, you, when you go through something, amen, you come out of it on the other side. Yeah, you You'll come out of what you're going through on the other side. That's why David said, amen, in Psalm 23 and verse 4, he said, yeah, mm -hmm. though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they, they, they comfort me. I wish I had some help in here. Yeah, yeah, surely, surely you have trouble. Surely God will deliver you from your trouble but lastly amen the bible promises amen amen you'll come out you'll come out of your troubles better than before yeah yeah you'll come out of your troubles better better than you did before amen if you don't believe me just ask job yeah 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 let me call let me call my friend job up here yeah you can ask job because in job amen 42 and 10 amen you can you can get the Press reading about the troubles of, of Job. Yeah, yeah, I wish I had some help in here, but listen to the rest of the story. Yeah, you got to hear the end of the story. You had the beginning, but you got to hear the end of the story where Job says, and the Lord, yeah, yeah, he said, and the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Yeah, yeah, when he prayed for his friends. Yeah, the same ones that set there, a man with him and accused him of doing something that he didn't do. The Bible said when he prayed for his friends, he said also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. I wish I had some help in here. Ain't God all right? Yeah, but you, you got to notice verse 12 right there in Job 42. Yeah, where, where the Bible says, so the Lord blessed the, the latter end of Job more, amen, than he did in his beginning. It, 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 it ain't over. No, no, it ain't over until God says that 
and dead, dead he's over. Yeah, yeah. In other words, he gave Job double. Yeah, for for his trouble. You can ask you can ask Joseph. Mm-hmm. Ask Joseph about Amen. The goodness of God and won't God bring you out? Amen. And won't God turn your situation around? Amen. He was forsaken and falsely accused. Amen. By family and friends, but he kept the right attitude. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep the right the right attitude. Amen. He he kept the right perspective when when he told his brothers. Amen. In Genesis chapter fifty verse twenty, ye thought evil against me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he told. He said you thought you thought evil against me, but God. He said, but God meant it unto good. Y'all don't y'all don't hear me in here. Amen. God will turn your situation around. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. The Apostle Paul in our text said it right. We are pressed on every side by trouble but not crushed. You can't, amen, keep a good man down. Surely you'll come out of your troubles better than you were before. I wish I had some help in here. We got to look at how Paul closes, amen, this, this fourth chapter of Second Corinthians out. Amen. When he began uh, writing in verse 15, he said, but all things are for your sake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that the abundant grace might through, amen, uh, uh, the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. Yeah, yeah, y'all come on, stay right here with me. Stay here with me. He said, for which cause, yeah, for which cause we, we faint not, but though our outward man perish. Yeah, he said, the outward man, the outward man gonna get tired, the outward man gonna perish. He said, but yeah, the inward man is renewed day by day. I wish I had some help in here. Watch this, watch this. He said, for our light afflictions, yeah, which are, or which is but for a moment. In other words, he was saying that our trouble is only temporary. I wish I had some help in here. If you would just hold on, yeah, yeah, you got to hold on because your trouble is only, yeah, yeah, temporary, which is but for, he said, but for a moment. He said, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. And then he said, while we look, yeah, not at the things which which are seen. Yeah, yeah, the stuff that you see will trouble you sometimes. You got to be able to look beyond that from, not from the natural eye, but through the spiritual eye that God will do what God said that he would do. He said, for why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things, amen, which are not seen, for the things which are seen. Yeah, he says it again, that they are just, they are just temporal. He said, but the things which are not seen are eternal. For which cause, which cause, Paul, Paul says that he is, amen, knowing, knowing, amen, that we are going to come out of our troubles better than we were before if, that that word go, if we, if we faint, faint not. And that's why, that's why I come to tell you, amen, in the middle of this pandemic, amen, don't worry, all you got to do is just hold on. Yeah, yeah, hold on to God's un, unchanging hand because God will, yeah, show up and when God shows up, God will, yeah, yeah, he'll, he'll show out. I, I wish I had some help in here. Won't he show out? Yeah, yes, he will. He'll come and he'll see about you. The psalmist said that he'll come and rescue you. I wish I had some help in here because one Friday, yeah, yeah, Jesus died out on a hill called, called Calvary. Yeah, yeah, they buried him in a, in a borrowed tomb, yeah, and they put him in the grave all night Friday, all day and all night Saturday, but they said early. Somebody said early. Somebody ought to be shouting right now. Early. Sunday morning, he got up. 
Yeah, yeah, he got up with all, all power in the palm of his hand. Yeah, yeah, he can got up with miracle working power. Yeah, yeah, he can work a miracle in your life. Storm stopping power. He can stop storm in your life. Trouble fixing power. Yeah, he can stop the trouble that's in your life because he has all power in the palm of his hand. Ain't God all right? Yeah, somebody ought to shout right there. Yeah, yeah, he's all right with me. Yeah, yeah, if anybody, anybody that can turn water into wine, yeah, he's all right with me. Give sight to the blind, he's all right with me. Put food on my table, he's all right with me. Yeah, yeah, he's all right with me. Yeah, hold on, hold on. We'll get through this thing if we faint not. Oh, glory, glory to his name. Amen, amen, amen. 